Okay, so for our second lesson, we're going to focus on the pitch section. You have three knobs here. You have the octave, the porta, and the EGINT knob. I hope you watched the first lesson because we focus, we focus on the um, envelope generator knob. So that is very important because to understand it, what this knob really does, you're going to have to understand what the envelope generator does. We'll get to that very shortly. Okay, so for your three knobs, octave, porta, and EGINT. For the octave knob, it's simple. All it does is just change the octave. The octave is uh, on the note scale is 12 notes. As you can see here on the keyboard right over here on your sequencer, the C buttons are labeled. It represents the beginning of an octave, and then the end of the octave or the next one where it begins on C again. As I go up, you can hear the sound, the note sounds the same, but just at a higher pitch. And if I go down, the note gets lower. So the octave just does that. Every time you change the dial, the, uh, the dial you go up 12 notes. Change it up, up again, and then lower, lower. That's what it basically does. It's a nice shortcut to lower down your uh, notes if they're too high or too low. Or if you need more higher notes, then you put it all the way up. And now, you get higher notes. And if you want to go really low, you can put the octave down and and you get lower notes. That's pretty much it. Now the next dial is Porta, which is short for uh, Portamento. Uh, but anyway, on this DS10 engine, we just refer to as the Porta. So the Porta, what it basically does is makes a transition between two notes. So the first thing I need is two different notes. So I'm going to put one octave here and another octave here for to understand the difference. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go uh, with two different octaves. Let's uh, put the gate here so we have a, two smooth notes. So you hear the note changing. So when I put the porter up, just a little bit. You can see it's sliding to the next note. And if I put it really high, so there, and I put it really high, it takes a very long time for the notes to slide. So that's what the porter does. I use it for note slides, combined with the uh, chaos pad, which we'll get into another tutorial in the future but if you you know if you put a little porter you can use this as a nice uh, little effect for your instrument and a little more you can really hear the uh, sound So that's what basically the porter does. We'll get to more into that in the future. Now the last knob, <clears throat> excuse me, which can be very, very confusing, is the envelope generator knob. Now, by default, if you mess with it and haven't touched any of the other controls, you're gonna get this. And let me put a long note for that. We're going to do that. And let's put it together as one. So you see, by default, some people might think that it just a, it just acts like a smooth pitch changer. That you can just make the pitch lower or higher. But the only reason it's doing that is because of the way the envelope generator is set up over here. 
Now, if you remember the last episode, and if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. The envelope generator affects the volume of the sound. But not only you can use it for the volume, you can also use it for the pitch. So, I'm going to leave it in the middle. We have our sound here. And if you remember the attack knob, that the volume goes from 0 to 100%, we're going to put a little bit of attack here. Well, so you can see it. I'm going to press the note on the B button. You see that? Let's put a little bit more. You remember from last time, the volume fades in. Now, if I put some EG on the pitch into it, now you can hear that not only the volume goes up, but the pitch goes up as well. Now, by default, you can see that the uh, dial's in the middle, and you can see that the subtraction symbol and the uh, and the plus symbol. What this means is that uh, just imagine this is zero percent, and that the right side is a hundred percent, and the left side is negative a hundred percent. So, if I put it on this side, the note goes up and I put it on this side, imagine it's like backwards. So the note goes down, but the volume still goes up. Okay. So now that's what it does with the attack. Now if we add a decay, with the sustain, if you remember, the decay controls the uh, volume going from 100% to the sustain level. So, you can hear that, and if I put a little bit of envelope generator pitch into there, you hear this uh, sound sliding down. Now if I put attack with the decay into the sustain, you're going to hear the notes slide up and then slide down. So that's how it works. Just the same way like the volume, except it's affecting the pitch. And now we get to the release. If you remember how the release works, we're going to put a little release in here. As soon as you let go of the note, the volume goes to 0%, uh, fades to 0. But if you put the uh, envelope generator pitch into there, The note goes down with it and backwards. Same thing, just like that. So now we have an attack, a decay, and a sustain, and a release. So. Now the decay was kind of slow there because I put too much sustain. Let's try that again. So that's what this knob does. If you understand the envelope generator, you can uh, work with this knob. And now, uh, what can you use it for? Well, you can use it for some effects, but the number one use for it is actually drums. So if I put the decay, the sustain, uh, put the decay about midway and the sustain uh, almost 0%, and we don't need a release and a little bit of the uh, the uh, EG forward. You get a nice thump. So if you put a lower note, kind of sounds like a kick drum. The saw tube is not great for that, but if you use a triangle wave, now we're getting somewhere. And we put more. There's a yeah, kick drum right there. We could put a little decay. Or even lower the decay. Uh, too low. And maybe a little release now. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I need a little sustain. So that's uh, how you can make a kick drum with the uh, envelope generator. Very, very important. So that's what the uh, knob does. It controls the pitch just like it would with the volume. And with that alone, you can make kick drums uh, with a higher decay. You can make toms. Very, very important. And that's pretty much it for the pitch section. Thank you very much. And I will see you on our next lesson. Take care. Thank you for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website, drixager.com, for some news, more lessons, and patches. You can also check out my SoundCloud for some music as well. And if you have a question, feel free to ask that question in the comments below. I'll try to reply back as soon as possible. Take care and have fun creating music.